What's going on, man? It's your Jason Mate. We had a producer grind VIP studio session six. We in New York City with it, man. They pull up with the heat. So you know what's going on. Shout out producer grind. Oh, with producer grind, we got VIP studio session six. So we got about 40 producers cooking up. So yeah, everybody got their headphones on, they got their MIDI keyboards out. So we got uh, Sunny Digital and Jetson and Superstar O in the studio. So we got some exclusive merch that you can't even buy on the website here. Yeah, like these you can't get on the website. Christmas, beat maker, ashtrays for the smoker, so exclusive right here for sure. We in New York, Quad Studios. It's actually the same studio Tupac got shot at. So. And, for, and then, cause then on my end, I'm showing them like mixing. So I came up with like, it'll be like, literally like only 10 plugins, like my, some of my essential, like your my essential EQ, compressor, Basics. couple waves plugins, and showing like how you can really get like, you know, some good mixing just with that. Like you don't really have to have all this crazy shit. And they'll definitely learn some mixing tips for real from yeah. the session for sure. And then Sonny come in here and bang out. How you doing? How you doing? How y'all doing? How you doing? Y'all have a good, having a good weekend? Yes, yeah, sir. You too. You too, Han Hansel? It's like Hansel without an H. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, I already shook you, but shit, we get it popping again. This the whole first group? All right, shit, we gonna get in it. So first off, just thank you everybody for coming to the event. I love, I love being around all the producers and just cooking up with everybody and everybody just networking. So on this one, in my session, I just got this little MacBook. What I did is I threw some of my like essential plugins on here that I mix with and I'm gonna pull up some unmixed stems from like one of my projects. And I'm just gonna kind of go through and show y'all like some mixing tips and show you how like, and in these plugins, some of them are even free. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's showing you a lot of my, a lot of my plugins that ain't like, that I use, it ain't like super crazy stuff. Some of them is, but showing you, you don't need that many plugins to get like a really clean mix. If y'all got any questions too, if you see something that I'm doing, you know, just let me know. Knocking crazy, and we ain't need this shit. All we did was throw this motherfucker on here. But a lot of this shit, like, producers that know it ain't gonna tell nobody, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm trying to, I, I wanted to come and think of shit where it's like, y'all really, you know, going to the next level by coming here, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I wanna really give y'all some shit that's really gonna help y'all, you know what I'm saying? But then from there, we can, make, we can make it even crazier. So if you like, woo, with the master channel even right here, you see this plugin right here called G Clip. That's the one you wanna get, it's free. It's 100% free. I try to get the mix to the point where it's like, even once I put a limiter on it, you don't even really hear a difference. It just stops it from clipping and that's what G Clip will do. And like, I'll just show you. It's just a simple little free plugin. And then also if you drag this percentage down, it'll make the, the kick and everything crunch and hit even more, see? Go to the mix real quick. Keep working. We got one ready. Just so it vibe, better. Just so it don't sound the same. Yeah, just like change up the other way when you switch up. Just so it have like a different vibe with this fire. And then this out right here, like if you want it to be like long or short, you know what I'm saying? You can control it really right there with that out. Just what I do with my 808s, I always trim, and then I click this, and click so you got it. So those are just like the two things I always do with my 808s. Mm. 
just switch it up here and now. What's up, bro? How you doing, bro? All right. Huh? Jet Bang. What's up, bro? How you doing? So, uh, I know you, you rap on your own beats and shit. Yeah. So, I rap on everybody else's shit, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, so, I made my own beats and you know, I rap on everybody Good. How you doing? Good. All right, bro. I don't know how people be drinking this shit. This shit ain't got, it's, it's so nice coffee. This shit ain't got no sugar, no nothing in this hoe. This shit just tastes blunt as hell. Tastes like coffee beans, bro. <laughs> Snacks packaging too, bro. Thank you, man. All right, I'll push up, bro. Yeah, you already know, bro. I'm checking yeah. you out, bro. Okay, I'll, I'll send you uh, the beats and stuff so you can. Okay. Class number two, what's going on, man? How y'all doing? Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up, that's what's up, man. Try, what programs y'all using in here? <laughs> any any other users other than FL in here? We got, we got two Logics in here. Oh, man, no two over there. Oh, <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with Logic, bro. I just don't. I, I don't personally use it though. But you know, um, I know it's a Mac, a MacBook type thing. Doing. Do y'all got? I know you got a question. I know you. Which I feel like a lot of people should always. I feel like everybody, like even like right now with y'all lit though, y'all shouldn't just focus on just being a producer though because, you know, that, I mean that's that's good. But I done made money. Like you know, I don't know if y'all know the I'm the Man song by Fifty Cent. That's the song I produced and I wrote. Literally wrote the whole shit. You know what I'm saying? And you know, it, it was my song, you know what I'm saying? And I put it out as my song, and then 50 came and bought the song from me. On some like, I want the whole song. I'm, and it cracked my head. I was like, man, shit, I was just on some like, I really just made it for myself, you know what I'm saying? But I recently just talked to somebody, and it was like, I, I thought you ain't making beats no more. I thought you were just doing like rapping and stuff, you know what I'm saying? But it's not that though, you know, just kind of, I was redirecting my energy though. Like, I didn't want, I, I was trying to get out the light of just being a producer and trying to show other talents though, which apparently is working. You know, they, they was like, okay, shit, he rapping now. You know, like, it's just another revenue of money. You get paid for writing songs, you know what I'm saying? Then you get more, like, praise for being a songwriter, too. You know what I'm saying? Live yes, around it all. That's yes, what's up. Yes, That's how I could tell the way everything had was a spaced out. Too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>
say the piano is quick. So just to make it easy, just some quick shit. Same drums as y'all, man. And that shit done. I don't, that's all I do. Personally. Vibe is like priority. Yeah, that's me. I don't really. Yeah, after that, I don't really do too, too much, bro. I swear to God. Like, I don't like over 10 instruments in none of my beats. Cause like, once you, once your head bobbing this shit, ain't nothing, bro. Nothing else to do to it. So then I just split it. do too too much to my shit bro. I'ma show y'all how I make a beat with a sample though. Cause that shit is too quick. I don't want y'all to feel yeah. like oh, baby. Yeah, keep going, keep working. Fuck with anybody who's telling you go with your mind telling you to do. Figure out your plan and do it times ten because at the end of the day when you get to where you want to go, if that, as me, I pride myself on doing what I said I was going to do my way. You feel me? So now that I got all this success, I can sit here and tell y'all do the same thing. I ain't going to say it's going to work for next year. Shit, I've been making these for 10 years now. You know what I'm saying? So you don't know when you're going to make your plan. But when you find your plan and, and it sound right to you, keep going. Keep working at that shit. Don't listen to nobody but yourself at the end of the day. Because when you get into the position, a lot of people, the cap sheet is gonna come to the light, and then when, when, the light, when the light shine on you, it's gonna be like, okay, am I ready for this? Am, am I standing on what I, can I stand on what I did to get me here? So if you do some fuck shit, yeah, never, it's not gonna last long. So be solid, figure out your plan, and be yourself, and it's gonna work. You know what I'm saying? It might be five years, it might be 10, it might be 15, and shit, whenever they come, it's gonna come. Get on saying? So you be solid, keep working. All right, so y'all put it up. Put it in there. Yeah. From the bottom of our hearts, like, we're so thankful for each and every one of y'all for coming through and then, like, just supporting online and everything. Like, it's really put the producers, like, ahead. And, you know, like, Jetson and Sunny and Superstar O and, like, everybody that's coming on the podcast, like, we appreciate all y'all so much. Just really, like, putting a light on stuff, like, something that's been hidden in the dark for so long. So, again, without y'all, there's none of this. So, y'all give it up for yourselves. With that being said, y'all, we're going to just vibe out for the last couple minutes, and then um, that's a wrap. Appreciate y'all for coming out. Thank y'all.